Let's not spend long on this. By the way, when you see the word rational expression right away, you think rationalizing the denominator. No. Uh, uh, Somebody said it out there. Thank you, fractions. Wait. I am just going to do a couple examples because this is nothing difficult. One multiplication and one division. Multiply this. Here is the mole, and it just looks it looks much, much, much goofier than it really is. Uh, 8m squared and I Eight m squared n m squared n plus two m n all over all over. Are you looking at a book? You want to read it for me? Two m times. Wait, you said it, Evelyn. Well, I said 2a and you want to joke around the question. 15 over 24. Is that a good one? It was jokes. Right? Plus 6m. Plus 6m. And plus 6m. And. All right. When you multiply fractions, you simply do what? Multiply across. However, children. You really don't want to multiply across until you have tried to factor. Well, you want to cross cancel everything you can first. If you don't, this will be a proverbial nightmare. And in order to cross cancel, Carter Altenberg, what do you need to do? If to see if something cross cancels, you have to factor everything out. Yes. Because I can't just pull this 8 and cross cancel with that 24 because that is not a factor. Because of this addition sign, you can't just pull things out here and there. You can't factor this or this, but you can factor this. What can you take out of an 8m squared n and the 2mn? 8mn minus 6. Yes, 2mn, thank you very much. Which leaves you with? I said 8 minus 6 because I misspoke. 2m plus 1. Are you with me on that? C. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I can from, if I get another 2m plus 1 in parentheses, I can cross cancel that. I could cross cancel this 2 with this 2, because this is 2 times m times m, that's 2 times m, and we'll do that in a minute, but I just want you to see that. You can take this whole quantity and cross it off with another one, hopefully we get that over here. What can you take out of this? 6n, and you're left with a 4. No. That something's not right, is it? They wouldn't do that to us, would they? They did. Did I write the problem down right? Yes. Yeah. Just say no and make up one number. I should. Did I do something wrong? Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. I thought yeah. the same thing when I was absolutely. Yeah, this is what I did wrong. Like, no. No, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, that is right. So, here's what then you can cross cancel. Maybe it is right. Like I said, life is not always. You know, this is multiplication with this, so you could cross off. Let's do it with black. Wait, is it like all oh, my heart feels right now? <laughs> two crosses off with two. Oh no, you did. Uh, two times two is is eight, so it's two times four. Four is in the parentheses. Uh, yeah. Instead of two m plus it's one, it's four. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, it's oh, it is four. four. Oh, okay. I guess three times on that, just so you know. I said it should work out the book. This before. is why we don't think we're going to do this. We just want to take us five minutes. 207.2. Then five the M crosses off with the M. This six times N, so this N can cross off with this N. This 4M plus 1 can cross off with this 4M plus 1. Oh, that all crossed off. And then this 6 divided by 3, you get 2. Divide this by three, you get five, and look, the whole thing ends up being a crazy five over two. And because you're old and, and because you're old and mathematical, you don't have to, you can just leave no proper fractions at this kind of time. I told you you're so close. Sometimes you're so close to it, you just can't see it. Is it not one? Is it 
Wait, should I do it again more slowly? Where, where, yes. which, one, which one did you miss? Yeah, I'm crossing off. Yeah. Here we go. Good. I'm going to do this just because I had that issue with the thing. I'm going to do it all right here. 8m squared n plus 2mn over 2m times 15 over 24m n plus 6n. Now, when we get, just because I goofed up on this thing, I can take a 2mn out of the top which is 2 times n times n. Technically, I could put all those in parentheses, but I won't. When you take that out, you're left with a 4 and an m plus 1. Everybody's happy with that. This one, I can take out a 6 n, and I'm left with 4m <coughs> plus 1. So far, so good? Now, maybe what would help, and this is what I've told you since the time we were knee high to a grasshopper, the problem with these long, and that's why I tried to get you to write everything out, is you get so lost in all the pre-calculating things that you forget what you're really doing. So I'm going to change all this. I'm just going to forget about writing this down. I'm going to put this down. 2mn over 4m plus 1 over 2m times 15 over 6n times 4m plus 1. It's the same thing I just got rid of some gobble good stuff. And then what crosses off? The 4m plus 1 and the 4m plus 1. 2m crosses off with this 2m. There's an m there and an m there. It's multiplication, so I turn it off. You're left with 15 over 6, which really goes into both of those. 5 over 2. And that's why, if you watch the movies like A Beautiful Mind and all that other stuff, they use entire chalkboards for problems. It's just... Did I do something wrong again? No. You know, apparently, when people start this, or when people start wearing paper. <laughs> this is a terrible kid, isn't it? Uh, he told you not to. <laughs> now, one more. This one, division. And I'm going to pick the hardest division one in human history. That's like invisible card. I don't think you can see that. Ready? Write this one down. X squared plus 5x plus 6 over x plus 2 divided by x plus 3 over y squared. If you see such a problem as this, it's really the same thing as the last problem we did, except for you need to make a multiplication by flipping and multiplying. Flipping and multiplying. This is, again, try not to rise. It's not big. Don't skip steps. Just rewrite it. Trust me, in the end, you'll thank yourself for it. Times y squared over x plus 3. Again, you can't just cross off this x with that x, or I guess there are no other y, so that's going to stay. You need to factor which can. If you come up with an x plus 2, you can cross this off y, because you can make it a factor by saying, oh, there's a 1 in front of it. Or, oh, there's a 1 in front of that. So this one you hope foil breaks into two binomials, and you really hope that those two binomials are those. Are they? What kind of question gives you 6 when added together gives you 5? x plus 2, x plus 3. Now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, x plus 2 crosses off with x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 3. You're left with just a y squared over 1 times 1, which is y squared. That's a weird y. It was kind of my horseshoe y. Why not do that? Mm -hmm. And I wish we had more time, but unfortunately, we know it has ceased to exist. Perfect. All right, for tomorrow, 1 through 11, I believe, 8. 1 through 11.